Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 668. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 661 to 671. Wow, all of these videos in this workbook and the notes in this workbook are all about the aggregate function. All the way back over here, there's some notes. We've been talking about all the different functions, 1 through 13 are uh, non-array, 14 through 19 are array. We looked at some of the options, how this function can do calculations and ignore hidden rows, ignore error values, ignore nested subtotals, all sorts of options. We are in our last few examples, 668, uh, we're doing the array examples. Function number 18 is percentile exclusive. And percentile just means if you have CPA scores and the we want to know the what what marking points mar, and what marking points marks the 90 percentile that means what score is the dividing line so that 90 percent of the people scored below and 10 percent above that's why it says top 10 percent percentile anytime you have a percentile or a quartile or anything it's just a dividing line it means exactly the point for our, in our case that we're going to use 90 in our function but it will mean 90 percent of the values below 10 percent above now the aggregate function um, we could just use percentile if we were just doing the whole column but we're going to see how to use aggregate and then we're going to have a criteria which makes it complicated to use the older function. Um, so let's just go ahead and see how to use the aggreg aggregate function with the uh, percentile on the whole data set and then we'll do our uh, criteria over here. Here it is down here there's percentile inclusive or exclusive. Now if you search YouTube for Excel 2010 percentile I have a whole video on these and this new EX C is just awesome. I teach statistics and this is the one of the bigger greatest improvements I think because this this per percentile function the older one just didn't work that uh, well. 18 is what we're going to put here. That's the function we're going to use. And then comma, the next argument. Now uh, there's lots of arguments here. For this one we're just going to say ignore nothing. Comma and then the array it's simply this right here. Control shift down arrow I'm going to hit F4 to jump the screen back up. And this requires uh, a K, comma, and the K for large and small are in a number, but for percentile, you actually have to put in that 90 or 80 or 70 or whatever, whatever it is. So I'm going to click right there and down arrow to get to that um, cell reference right there because I want the 90th percentile. So there it is. For all of the values, the uh, score which means you are in the top 10 percent or if you get above 93 you're in the top 10 percent if you get below you're in the bottom 90 percent uh, that's the dividing line now we want to see really because we could have done this with um, percentile exclusive there's the old functions right these are called compatibility functions this percentile here is the same as the in INC but we want this new one totally amazing again search for if you're really interested in percentile this one's easy we just highlight this F4 and then comma this 90 and it gives us that so really if you're just doing all the values that's ridiculous but at least we get our syntax down and see how to enter everything now we're going to do a more relevant one and which makes the aggregate aggregate so good because really if you want a formula over here to calculate the 90th percentile for each school right of all these we need to calculate separately rank uh, percentile for each one of these you'd have to do this array formula with an if the criteria the values and then control shift enter so and we talked about this exact problem in for large over in our last video but let's see how to do it here aggregate I'm gonna go down and pick 18 comma for us as we saw in our last video the array that we're gonna create in this array argument right here is going to have some error values and we want to ignore them so what are we going to do we're going to select ignore error values if you were hiding rows 2 you'd select this one alright comma just like in our last 
two videos. The way we create array criteria in aggregate is we're going to select our numbers first, unlike the if that we saw. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it because we are going to drag it down. And, uh, and so our numbers come first and then we divide. And then in parentheses we have to put our criteria. So our criteria is this column, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4. Whenever anything there is equal to, and I click one cell to my left, that relative cell reference. Close parentheses. So that, that is an, our array. And what's beautiful about this, these are all trues and falses. These are all the values. School 1 here in this array of trues and falses, if we hit F9, you can see the very first one is false. You can see it right there, Control Z. So that means what's 95 divided by false? 95 divided by 0, which is an error. So if I highlight all of these, F9, bunch of errors. But we're only interested in those, that value, that value. No problem, Control Z. That's what that 6 does right there. When we type a 6 right there, it says ignore error values. Totally amazing. Comma, and then we need our 90th percentile. And I'm going to lock this with the F4 key going down. Close parentheses. I simply hit Control Enter. All right, um, and you can compare this to earlier. The if requires the criteria first and then the numbers. It requires Control Shift Enter. This one does not. All right, um, got two more videos. The last one, uh, 69 is just a one minute video, and the last one is a big array formula with a couple cool surprises. All right, we'll see you next video.